Hi. Sometimes you want to take a closer look at something, and sometimes you want the bigger picture. That's where zooming comes into play. From the earlier video on the importance of projections, you may remember that you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. Other options include using the tools on your ribbons, specifying the map scale, zooming to individual layers in your content window, and using your right hand mouse button. Since you've already encountered the scroll wheel in a previous video, I'm going to jump straight to the ribbon tools. To use these, you need to select the Map tab at the top of the screen. Remember, you can identify the individual icons by hovering over them with your cursor, which will cause their names to pop up. The Full Extent icon resembles a globe. Clicking on it will cause the map to display the full extent of all the layers on the map. In this case, since the light gray canvas base map that we selected in an earlier video encompasses the entire world, that's what gets displayed when you click on this icon. This map view may look very distorted in comparison with what you're accustomed to seeing. As mentioned in the video on the importance of projections, the first data set imported into an ArcGIS model dictates the projection displayed for that model. In our case, that initial data set used in Albers projection and what you are seeing is characteristic of Albers projections. Below the full extent icon, you will find the fixed zoom in and fixed zoom out icons. Clicking on these causes the map to zoom in and out around its current center point. Now, let's look at your scale settings, which are displayed along the bottom edge of the screen. There are two ways of setting your scale. Using the drop-down menu, you may select from among a series of preset scales. Alternatively, you can type in the precise scale that you want to use. The Contents window also offers an option. Right-clicking on a layer name, in this case the Wetlands Habitats layer, and selecting Zoom to Layer will cause the map to center on and zoom to that layer. Finally, you can zoom by sliding your mouse over the map while holding down the right-hand mouse button. The direction in which you slide your mouse determines whether you zoom in or out. In the next video, I'll demonstrate some ways in which to learn more about your data.